Hi friends! Today we are going to be making a project using recycled cardboard again. Um, instead of the toilet paper tube that we used last week for our fish, this week we are going to be using cardboard from a box. So hopefully you have some boxes lying around your house. Um, you could also use the cardboard from a cereal box. Just remember that it has some images on one side. So depending on what you choose for coloring your project, you might have to use paint if you use the cereal box. Um, this project is pretty open-ended, but we are gonna be making some cardboard dinosaurs. The one that you see here that I've already made is a Brachiosaurus. Um, but you can create almost any type of dinosaur using the techniques that I'm gonna show you. And you could also create some extra scenery, like some trees or mountains, and create a whole landscape for your dinosaurs. Um, for this project, I am going to suggest that you get some help from an adult, especially when it comes to cutting the cardboard. Um, depending on how thick it is, you're probably gonna need some adult scissors that are pretty sharp. Um, and cutting some of the curves are going to be a little bit tricky unless you've got some help with that. Um, and again, you can use paint on the cardboard. I think that that would make it look really nice and bright um, if you have paint. I actually used a combination of markers and crayons on mine because I like the way it creates um, a cool texture. So I'll go ahead and show you everything up close. Um, so you can go ahead and get started. For my second dinosaur, I'm going to try to make a Stegosaurus, which is um, the dinosaur that has the spikes across its back. Um, regardless of which dinosaur you choose to draw, you are going to want to start out with the body first. Um, so I would find a piece of cardboard that's big enough to fit the entire body. And then I'm going to use these little scrap pieces for the legs. Um, you can see on my Brachiosaurus, I did um, the body on one piece of cardboard and then the legs are basically going to be the same for every type of dinosaur that you make. So I'm also going to do the drawing with a crayon first, um, especially because I'm going to use crayons to color the dinosaur in anyways. Um, so I'm going to choose my lighter color, the yellow, to do the drawing just in case I make any mistakes because I can't really erase it. But the yellow is light enough that it won't really show up too dark. So for the stegosaurus, I'm going to go ahead and start with the tail um, on one side and I'm going to draw a line that curves just a little bit up and then back down again for where the head is going to be. Then I'm going to go ahead and scoop around and draw the belly of the dinosaur back up to where I started the tail. So it's kind of hard to see with the yellow crayon, but I've got a little pointed tail. This is my head and then this is its back and its stomach. I started a little bit lower down on the cardboard so that I could give uh, plenty of space for the spikes. Now because the cardboard is kind of difficult to cut, I don't want to make my spikes super tiny um, and I don't want to do too many. So I'm going to actually switch colors so you can see how big they are. I'm going to do maybe one, two, three, four five, just like that. So once you've drawn the body of your dinosaur, you can go ahead and set that aside. And then you can get your two pieces that you're going to use for the legs. Um, the legs, again, are going to be exactly the same on every dinosaur that you make. It's basically going to be a rainbow shape or like an upside down U. You wanna make them, again, big enough that it's easy to cut with your scissors. And then you can do another smaller rainbow shape inside. Um, if it's not too difficult, you can do little zigzags down here at the bottom for like pointy toes. So there's one set of legs, and I'm gonna do the same thing 
um, this one. They're not gonna be exactly the same, but I'm going to place it under my first set of legs just so I can compare as I'm drawing and make sure that they're at least similar in size. You can always fix it a little bit later with your scissors if they're too different or one's too much bigger than the other. So once you've got your body drawn and your legs drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out. This is the part that takes the longest um, other than coloring and it's pretty tricky. You just wanna make sure that you aren't bending the cardboard too much or it's gonna get a crease and it's not going to be as stable. Um, but just make sure that as you're cutting, you're turning the cardboard um, instead of worrying about moving the scissors too much because they'll kind of get stuck. So I'll show you that really quickly um, and then we'll move on to how to color our dinosaur. So you need to do one more thing with your scissors before you actually move on to coloring. Um, and this is going to be the step that fits everything together, um, kind of like a little puzzle. Um, you wanna take your legs and um, at the top of the rainbow right here, you're going to carefully cut a notch in. You don't wanna go too far, you'll slice right through the legs and cut them in half. Do that to both sets of legs. And then you're going to take your dinosaur body and you're going to space it out um, evenly. You're gonna cut two notches down on the bottom of the dinosaur's body. Um, once we're done coloring, I'll show you how these kind of fit together. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and start with the coloring part. I like to use a combination of markers and crayons. So I have a red marker and I've also got a pink and yellow crayon because they're um, next to each other on the color wheel. They're going to look really nice together. The red is the darker color. So you wanna choose a marker that is darker. Um, and then for your crayons, you wanna choose something that's a little bit lighter. For my Brachiosaurus, I did a dark blue marker and a light blue crayon over top, so it shows really nicely. So I'll go ahead and color all of this in really quickly so you can see what it looks like at the end, but I'm gonna start with marker first and just kind of scribble all over. Um, and then once the marker is dry, I'll color over top with the crayons. Um, you also wanna make sure that you do both sides so that your dinosaur can kind of stand from any angle and it will be colorful all over. You also um, might wanna put something down on your table if you're worried about um, your markers, if they're permanent or getting stuff on the table. These are washable, so I'm not too concerned, but sometimes you get some residue on your surface. All right, I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have colored in both sides of my legs and my stegosaurus body. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do before I assemble it is I'm gonna take my Sharpie and I'm going to draw a little dot for an eye on either side of the head. Um, if you want to, you could always add um, more marker than crayon because the marker shows up really bright. Or again, if you're painting these, um, I think that this would pop really well. My spikes aren't very bright. You can't really see the, the yellow um, really well, so I might later go over top of this with yellow marker. But again, it's totally up to you how you decide to decorate these. So the last step for assembling is you're going to take your leg piece and you can see the little notch that we cut earlier. You wanna line it up with the notch on the body and you're going to carefully slide that into place, just like that, so that they fit together kind of like a puzzle piece. So there's one and again, you wanna go really carefully and try not to push it too much 
because it is cardboard, so there is potential for it to rip. Um, there we go. So there's both of my legs and my stegosaurus is finished. Um, these kind of move a little bit, which I think makes it look a little bit more 3D. Um, and then you want to sort of test it out and set it down on the table. If it's rocking a little bit like mine is, you can always cut um, one of the legs a little bit shorter so that it's uh, a little bit more balanced. I hope you enjoyed the cardboard dinosaur tutorial. Again, um, you can draw any kind of dinosaur or creature that you like. Um, it should be fairly simple to look up um, pictures of dinosaurs online. Um, but you would just start with the body of the dinosaur first, which you can tell by looking at both of these, it's kind of like an oval with um, a triangle on the end for the tail. Um, so you would start with the body and then all of the legs are exactly the same, that rainbow or upside down U. Um, and then I think it would actually be really cool if you made some trees or a volcano or some extra stuff to go with your dinosaurs so you could set it all up. Um, the extra things would be made the exact same way. You would just cut out your tree shape or cut out your volcano shape and then to make it stand up three-dimensionally like these dinosaurs, you would just have a bottom piece um, that has a notch cut into it and then your tree or your volcano would also have a notch cut into it and you would um, fit the two pieces together, kind of like we did with the dinosaurs. So you can make almost anything with this um, kind of idea. Um, this project I originally saw from an art blog called The Imagination Tree. So I will include that link in the description of the video um, so you can check that out and maybe get some other ideas. Um, as always, I miss all of you and I hope you're doing really well. Um, stick around. Next week I will show you another recycled materials project. We've got a lot of boxes lying around the house so I'm going to use them up in a creative way. Um, I hope you are enjoying the really hot weather um, and getting outside and playing a little bit. And as always, feel free to comment and like the video. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.